This is the overdose of tricyclic antidepressants, as well as the toxicity that they can cause. This is a class of antidepressants that has largely been replaced by SSRIs. However, tricyclic antidepressants are still used as second or third line depression agents, as well as for neuropathic pain. They have a significant risk of toxicity in overdose situations. Their normal mechanism of action is to inhibit presynaptic neurotransmitter uptake, primarily for norepinephrine and serotonin. They do have some side effects. They have anti-muscarinic side effects like dry mouth, dry nose, blurry vision, constipation, and urinary retention. In overdose, they can have some cardiac effects. They inhibit the fast sodium channels in the hisperkinji and myocardium. This can decrease conduction velocity and increase repolarization duration. This leads to some EKG changes, widened QRS complex, T-wave alterations, bundle branch blocks, premature ventricular contractions, and a risk for lethal arrhythmias like V-fib. This EKG down here shows you some of those EKG changes, like widened QRS and some T-wave changes. The initial management of tricyclic antidepressants is your standard ABCs first. If you're going to do a first-line intervention, you should give sodium bicarbonate if they have arrhythmias, hypotension, or a widened QRS complex. Sodium bicarbonate is the standard initial therapy for TCA toxicity. The mechanism by which it helps is that it increases your serum pH, which favors the non-ionized form of the tricyclic antidepressants, and that leads to less binding to sodium channels.